a playgoer's lockdown. It was days before Christmas in 2019 when a bat caused a virus that was totally unseen. Within weeks it had travelled from China, its source, right round the globe, a pandemic of course. Cases were rising and things looked grim. Panic buying of toilet rolls really set in. Dettol was stripped off the shelves in the shops. We all washed our hands and did not stop. Then came the day that Boris called a briefing. The UK must stay home. We prayed it would be fleeting. A lockdown of businesses and people furloughed. Homeschooling began and we shared Zoom passcodes. The cities were empty, like time just froze. It was hard on us all with our worries and woes. Our theatres deserted and with it our play. The Quiet House was an apt name in that way. So playgoers were parted as we all stayed away to keep members safe and the virus at bay. We carried on with our lives but missed contact with friends. But the rules kept us safe and could not bend. So what has gone on with our members adrift? There's been house building and moving and cupboards to sift. Some have lost jobs and suffered not working. And we've all worked hard to keep boredom from lurking. For some, a brand new pet was their will, whilst others have tested their culinary skill. The beautiful weather made many green-fingered. We were ever so lucky the good weather lingered. We've donned new caps most especially teacher, and wearing a face mask has become a fashion feature. Some have been married or welcomed new life, but being parted from families cut like a knife. Some have been poorly or needed an op, and we remember dear June, losing her was a shock. We remember all those who have lost loved ones this year, for whom a lockdown meant even more tears. We've stood on doorsteps and clapped Thursday nights to thank key workers and the NHS for their fights. Restrictions have loosened and tightened in turn as the weeks go by and the daily figures we learn. Some days it felt our group now was so distant, whether we acted, directed or are a backstage assistant but as 2020 now draws to a close, let's remember why Playgoers is the group we all chose. Remember Playgoers' fun socials, trips to the West End, calling a member when helping hands we could lend, rehearsals and set builds and opening night, treading the boards and taking the spotlight. And even though the next few months are uncertain, with most now Tier 4, 2020's final curtain, Hang on to your hopes and dreams. They will come. We will hug our loved ones and have times full of fun. I'm sure you will join me in a wish for next year. To get back to our hobby would bring such good cheer. So it just leaves me to send all my love far and wide for a happy, safe and healthy Yuletide. Merry Christmas, playgoers. I hope you've enjoyed the lockdown communications recently and rest assured they will be back after Christmas and into the new year. Here's hoping 2021 sees a return to some sense of normality for all of us. Much love to all of you, playgoers. Love, Juliet.